Hello everyone, welcome back to Wayland's Way Craps. Uh, got a pretty cool little strategy for you today. It's a six, seven, eight strategy. Uh, one I one I really like to play a lot on a cold table, or it can win on a hot table either way. But it's a six, seven, eight strategy, and it's a lay four, five, nine, ten, and a place bet six and eight. Really love this strategy, and. Uh, this son was going to win some money sometimes, most of the times. I played this strategy. This was the only strategy I'd, I played at one point for years. Uh, and it, it, it's won me a lot of money. So we got a $4,000 bankroll, and here's how we play it. 200 to lay 4 to 10, 100 dollars to lay 5 and 9, 120 to 6 and 8. And I ladder everything up and down together. Six and eight. Uh, if I hit the six and eight, I just collect on them. If I hit a seven, I just collect on it. I win either way, both sides of the ball. If I roll a four, five, nine, or ten, they go up a level, and so does my six and eight. My six and eight will go up $30 un and $30 units. So we'll get things going. It's pretty simple. It's pretty good math. The least numbers are likely to be rolled are the four and ten, so we got two hundred each on them. Then the, the next two likely, least likely, are the five and nine. Got a hundred each on them. And then the most two numbers combined together rolled are the six and eight, so we bet on them. And then the king of all kings, the seven, is rolled the most. Uh, and the pyramid, the great pyramid. And I win money on the seven too. But you really want to roll a few six and eights with this strategy, you know. Roll a few six and eights every now and then. And be all right. Anything. Anyway, we'll get things going. We always work. And here we go. We got a five, three, eight. So that's a good start. And if you're a good dice setter and you can hit inside numbers, sixes and eights and sevens, then this should be your your go to. You know what I mean? That went 150 for 10. Got a 10. And we all set. Here we go. 639. That'll lose 100. Go up to 200. Six and eight will go up to 150 each. And uh, we all set. Got a one, two, three. Shocker. Go ahead. And we got a six, two, eight. It's going to win 175. Come back down. Six and eight come back down. We all said five one six. I went one forty. We'll take one fifty. Ten. We just rack it. Two, one, three. Shaka. No heaven. Six, one, seven out. We, we went a hundred on the ten, a hundred on the four. And between the five and nine, they win. Uh, they win sixty-three dollars each. So that'll pay one twenty-six on the five and the nine. And that's after big, so I don't owe any bigs on the five and nine in this video. Anyway, here we go. Four, two, six. I win one fifty. I don't have one fifty. 
I didn't have enough change. No big deal. Here we go. Five, one, six. Now we got change. I'm going to 150 for 10. We all set. Here we go. Five, two, seven, out. Hundred and a hundred. Sixty-three and sixty-three is one twenty-six on the five and nine. Good to go. Here we go. Hardy. Alyssa Hardy. Only 150. For 10. So we just rack it. 437. Son of a gun. Man, he sucks. Only 100 and 100. Now we're 126 on the 5 and 9. Here we go. 6, 4, 10. That'll lose 200. Go up to 300. 10, 4, 6, and 8. Put 150 each. We all set. 628. Now we're 175. Put that down on 6 and 8. Put that down on 4 and 10. Here we go. 314. 200, what, 300, go up on the 6 and 8, 5, 2, 7, that'll win 150, 150, and 126 on the 5 and 9, 63 apiece, and we take everything down and see where we stand real quick. bad. Nope. I'd be gone. I'd be gone with the wind, boys. It's just a fact. 2,000, 4,000. We have 500, 600, 700, 800, 75, 85, 95, 100. Killing it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred dollars. Or eight hundred, something like that. That'd be gone. Just that, just that fast. And like I said, if you can, uh, if you got a good inside dice setting, this thing right here is the one for you. Six, sevens, and eights is what you want to roll. And I don't want to make the video too short. We'll stay where we at. Sometimes you can't buy a five or nine or four or ten. Sometimes you can't buy a six and eight. You know what I mean? But... Keep it going. Looking good so far. There's a 639. There's a 
100. Gol. Chingón. One fifty, one six and eight. Six one seven. That went a hundred and a hundred and two hundred lay on the five and nine. I went one twenty five each, which would be two fifty. Bring them back down. So you know, <laughs> I've just been, I've just been gone. That's all it is to it. Like I said, this strategy usually wins me uh, four or five hundred dollars in just a heartbeat. Like I said, it only takes a few. It takes a few six and eights and uh, and sevens. It wins on. It wins both sides of the coin. So. It don't break even on a seven and just went on six and eights. It wins on them. It's kind of like the Grim Reaper with the six and eight. But you can't hardly win with that with a six and eight unless you uh, got more money, way more money on the four and ten because they don't pay enough. By adding the five and nine with the four and ten, 
It makes everything right. But anyway, here we go. Five, four, nine. Ow. Get whacked on the nine. Go up. Nine. Go up. The main thing with this, when I, years ago when I first came out with this strategy, was getting the payments right on it, how to go up on the six and eight with it. And uh, you can start out at the $150 level and go up a little more. And uh, you can just keep the thing going when you, you know what I mean? Instead of starting over, but you need a bigger bankroll. Uh, but them six and eight payments will be a lot more, you know? I just like starting over. Sometimes you'll lose a hundred or two uh, by starting over, but I don't really care. Cause I can make it back, you know what I mean. So I, I don't. Any any time on a win or a seven, and the seven comes wherever I'm at, I, I like to start over. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, here we go. Six four ten. Pa pow. Back on the ten. What three hundred. Eighteen minutes. We'll go. We'll do a couple more shooters. Maybe we can get get hit a little more. I mean, it ain't like this is a great table or nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? But this strategy can win on a hot table, and it can win on a cold one. But uh, get changed for a hundred. You need for it to want to roll a, a six and eight every now and then. You don't you, ain't, you, have, you don't have to roll six and eights all the time. Still wins on a seven, but it, it wins a little more if you can roll a six or eight every now and then. Which six and eight is gonna be rolled, you know, most of the time. Most of the time. Here we go. Four through six. One fifty for ten. Yeah, 
Raptor. Here we go. And we got a seven out. Hundred on the four, hundred on the ten. One twenty six on the five and nine combined. Like I said, this is one of my favorite strategies. It was, uh, it was my go go to strategy for years and years. That's the only one I would ever play. But uh, and I I still love it. I love it to this day. Uh, I was just looking through my books and running across it again. I said, "Dang, I haven't played that in a while." So here it is. I hope you guys like it. I love it. Myself. Anyway, here we go. I have one six. I have one fifty for ten. Good to go. Six three nine. Lose a hundred. Anyway, here we go. Six three nine. Lose a hundred. Glad we're rolling from fives and nines. Don't do nothing but build my build my uh build my bank up. <laughs> really? Anyway, here we go. Six two eight. I like you hear me. Only one seventy five. Back down on a four and ten. And better come back down here. Oh, we almost got carried away with that. I guess if the things kept going like they go, and you could bump everything up a level, you know, if you wanted to. It'd be up to you. But six to eight. No one wanted one fifty. Ten. Ten. We all set. There's a mid nine. No hit. Four two six. We want fifty for ten. Here we go. Six 
410. Pow! Lose 200. Call it the ultimate six, seven, eight, but uh, you guys could help me come up with a better name for it if you want to. But uh, I love it. Uh, anyway, I appreciate it, guys. And like I said, man, I ain't uh, I ain't trying to do nothing but help people. And and for for me to get comments like that guy commented on my last uh, video. Talking about whaling don't never lose. Trying to make, trying to say, uh, I don't really know what he was trying to say. Whaling loses plenty. I can promise you that. If you don't know that, you don't know much about craps. Any strategy will lose. This one will lose. It didn't today, it made a killing. But anyway, guys, uh, I love all of you. Everything I do is. is it's for free, and I try to help everybody. If I can't help you none, just let me know, and uh, I'll dog the show off. But uh, so far, I've got a lot of positive feedback. A lot of people has won a lot of money, and uh, that's what I want everybody to do. Anyway, guys, I want, that's enough of that. Uh, I appreciate I appreciate each and every one of you, and I love each and every one of you. Until next time, Christ is King. Roll Tide.